Hello and welcome to another episode of the Coins and Cash Weekly Wrap Up. And this is for the weekend, the 29th of January 2022. We start off with the hot news in crypto. Don Hoffens, a Texas governor candidate, has stated that he is committed to making Texas the citadel for Bitcoin and has released a plan outlining his plans with key emphasis on making Bitcoin legal tender and expanding the massive mining operation already exists there. So just so you know, um, individual states in the US do not have the rights to issue legal tender. Maybe there's more detail in that plan. Also, the Biden administration is reading an executive order for release as early as next month that will outline a comprehensive government strategy on cryptocurrencies and ask federal agencies to determine their risks and opportunity. We look forward for that one. And then to market performance for the week, total market cap opened at $1.6 trillion and went up to $1.7 trillion at the close of the week. It did plus 6% change. Bitcoin opened at $35,000 and closed at $36,000 with a plus 2.85% change, while our fund opened at $30 and also closed at $30, meaning no change for the week. Data was calculated on Friday because that was when the current Google 2 fund closed for the tenor. Our fund return remained the same in the unit value for the week. General market was positive as Bitcoin went above the 35k price. And we're still let you know uh, from Coins and Cash that our new crypto investment fund opens on Monday, 31st January 2022, and it would run till Friday, April 29th, 2022. Do send us a message wherever you are seeing this for more information. And then to one minute lesson on relevant crypto knowledge, what is an initial DEX offering? So an IDO is a decentralized exchange based crypto token offering is the opposite of an IEO which happens on a centralized exchange. Here liquidity pools are important because they provide liquidity after the sale. During the token generation event, a typical IDO allows users to lock funds in exchange for fresh tokens. Some of the money generated are then added to an LP with the new token before being returned to the project, an LP being a liquidity pool. IDOs allow projects to distribute their token in a cost-effective manner. Although IDOs have been around for a while, they are continually evolving and offering new models such as the initial farm offering. As the industry gets more regulated, we may see increased KYC requirements. You also need a digital wallet like Metamask and some coins to subscribe and pay transaction fees if you wish to join an IDO. Always conduct your own due diligence on the project before investing through a reputable DEX. This entails scrutinizing the IDO mechanics as well as the project's personnel and tokenomics. Always invest only what is a very good amount for you so that you're not overly invested as token sales carry a significant level of risk. We trust you learned something new. Till next week's wrap up, stay awesome and have a great week ahead. With love from the Coins and Cash team.